Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back to another Junk in My Trunk uh, video. Those who are new here, don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. This is a crafty channel, not only a crafty channel, but I sell vintage items for your crafts. So my shop link's down below, and there's other ways to follow me on social media as well. Today what I have for Junk in My Trunk is vintage postcard lots. What I did was I had put different postcards into different lots of, of packs of 12. Some are packs of 15, some are packs of, uh, I think, 13. And I did it by theme. I have a bunch of vintage floral packs. I have vintage Thanksgiving packs, Christmas packs, and Easter. And what I'm going to do today, if you want to, if you want to run over to the shop, you can go over there and see what is posted. I did a total of 19 different packs, and they are $15 a pack. Uh, which is a great price for vintage postcards. These here are from the um, late 1800s and early 1900s. I also had marked each pack um, how many are blank and how many are not blank. For instance, uh, like some of these here are in certain packs are blank. That's blank. Um, let's see if I can find a not blank. Okay, and then uh, stamped. So, and when you go to listing, you will know how many actually blank cards you got um, from the 1800s kind of thing, 1900s, and how many stamped per pack. So whatever pack you get, all that details will be in the listing for you. Also in the listing, when you see what pack that you want, um, I have photos of every postcard you're going to get, the front, the back, and the details about them. So get a chance running over there and check them out. Or stay tuned here. I'm going to go through each pack, one through, uh, I think, 19. And so you can see what's in each pack and how many's blank and how many's not blank. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to start with Thanksgiving, then go on to Christmas. Garden Floral, I have a lot of them, and they are just amazing. And then Easter will be last. So I'm going to go ahead and open up pack one for you guys. Okay, guys, this is pack one, and I hope I'm not zoomed in too much. Maybe pack go out a little bit here. Let's see here. All right, so the first pack is Thanksgiving. I think I have one or two packs of Thanksgiving. I don't remember. But this is pack one so far, and I'm going to show you what you have. In this pack, I have a sticky note here somewhere. There you have it, so I know what we have in this pack. <laughs> we'll get it here. So in this pack, we have 12 postcards, and this is pack number one, Thanksgiving. It has two blank cards, and then we'll see if that is one of those for you guys. I'll go through here really quick. Again, you can run right on over to the listing and you can see what is in each pack. Again, $15. You cannot beat that for 12 vintage, really early um, 1900s and uh, late 1800s. Get that one. Two, six. This is again all turkey, Thanksgiving. Really cool, huh? Absolutely pretty. Again, that one's blank. This one's embroidered. That one is blank as well. Look at this one. Two turkeys holding a wishing bone. Again, this video is going to be kind of long, so I'm going to go through each pack for you guys. I think it's only fair so you know what you're getting. Again, though, like I said, the listing that I provide, it shows you everything you're getting, fronts and back. So if you don't want to stick around, the garden floral ones are my all-time favorite. Although the Christmas ones really got me, too. So these are so much fun going through photo shoots and stuff. Ooh, look at the pretty feathers. Can you see that? There you go. That's pack one. Let's go to pack two. Okay, here's pack two. It is Christmas and New Year. I kind of did both, called them Christmas and New Year's kind of thing. I can go right there and try to keep centered for you guys. This one here has four blank cards in it. We'll see which ones those are here in a minute. These are the 1800s and early 1900s. This one. This one's got like a boat, like a lighthouse. This one doesn't have a stamp, but it's not blank. Jingle Bells. It's 1923. Sorry, you guys, I have to move them around. This one's got a little glitter to it. I figured you guys would like to see. It's 
see the packs. Normally I don't take this much time, but I thought why not today? Had some extra time. This one says, uh, May Christmas be thine. It's really cool. See that. This one's 1914. Look at the birds. Oh, I love that. January 1st. This is a New Year's one. And this one's blank. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous. This one says, a Merry Christmas. Totally retro looking. And it's blank. I know that's a beautiful pack, guys. That there itself. Oh my gosh. Look at here coming up. Look at the New Year's girl. Oh my gosh. This one's blank. And this one is blank as well, I bet. Yep. The little girl's blank as well. Can't beat that for $15, guys, for those really vintage old uh, postcards. That is pack number two. All right, guys, let's go to pack uh, number three. All right, guys, this is pack number three. There should be two blank Christmas cards. It's Christmas as well. We're going to find out here in a minute. This one's got a moon. I don't know if you guys can see that. Again, these are from the 1800s to the uh, early 1900s. No, which one's the blank ones yet? We'll find out. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Gorgeous that is. This one here. This one's 1920s. Stamps on these are just cute. That one. Two little children elves. This says a Merry Christmas. I didn't think about putting these a, a different way before I showed them. This one says, this is my Christmas wish to you. This is 1914. It looks like the two blank are coming up. New Year's greetings. And then a New Year's. Absolutely gorgeous. That is pack three. Let's continue on. This is pack four. And I don't know where my sticky note went. So that's okay. Again, this is 1900s. This one's got a little bit each of it there at the bottom. Christmas again, guys. Christmas, New Year's, I guess I should call this. This has got like a glitter, like a shimmer look. This one just doesn't have a stamp. This one says Merry Christmas. This one's got a little bitty, just a little one. But he's embossed and he's actually gorgeous. There we go, we got there and there. This is our New Year Wish. Look how elegant that is. Look at this one. How cute is that, huh? It's 1922. Christmas greeting. Sorry guys, I'm flipping flopping on you. Here's this one here. This one's embossed as well. December 22nd, 1919, I think. This is his best wishes. This is embossed as well. It's totally nighttime. It's so gorgeous. Happy Christmas to you. Love the Christmas stamp on that one. A Merry Christmas. Flowers coming out of the mailbox, I think. Has no stamp. Okay, is that? 1821. And then this one here, again, this one here will say postcard, and this, this lot on the listing will say card, because this one has a card at the bottom, if you can see this. Isn't that gorgeous? See the stamp on there? All right, guys, that is pack number four. Five, pack five is quite a treat. It is not only postcards, but it has four regular vintage, really gorgeous vintage Christmas cards that are embossed and also like a, a villain like feel to them. Truly crazy old, and it's just gorgeous. So I'm about to put this down to show you this. 
So it looks like I got the four cards on top first, but look at this card. You have to see this. Isn't that cool? I hope you guys can see that paper. It is just gorgeous. Truly gorgeous. There's that. And there's this one here. Let's see this one. And I think the other ones are at the bottom. So I pick these guys up for you. So this is a pack of 16. Same price, $15. There you go. Okay, we are on pack number five of 18 or 19. Again, just run right on over to the shop. It should be all there. Look how gorgeous that is. Should be all listed. I spent today, I think I did 45 listings today. Phew, it was quite a day. And then I'm doing these videos today as well. These are embossed. I don't know if you can see the flowers, like the four leaf clover. That is like the Christmas bird. Gorgeous. That's like inkwell ink pen. Christmas wish. Here, I might as well just go this way, right? It's just an absolutely beautiful pack. I just put. I had. I seen these extra cards, and I thought, well, I'll just throw them with it. Like this one. It's a little bit newer. It's gorgeous. Totally retro. Par. Oh, it looks like it's airmail. France. This one's blank. Look at these little birdies. It's like a card. Look at this one. This is what I was going to tell you. And it has this little string like that. This is going to be one long video. That I do know. Right, it's like a little booklet. You have to say that's gorgeous. It's like a postcard card. Alright guys, that is pack number five. Alright, this is pack six and it's totally garden floral. And this one has a really cute fairy one on top. And this one is blank on the back, which is so gorgeous. You can see the embossed. Oh, my lighting's okay. It's nighttime here. Isn't that gorgeous? She's beautiful. Now I love, I have to say that my very much favorite is the garden floral. Totally is my favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? This one here has got like slightly worn on the edge there, but look at how beautiful those roses are. Someone says, with my love. How gorgeous. The 12 pack, again guys, it's only $15. Someone took the stamp off that one. Not sure why. This one's really old and it's so gorgeous. Look at the back of that one. It's so quiet here. Everyone's asleep. It's like 9.20 p.m. This one's a little bit newer, but it was just gorgeous. Threw it in there. All right, guys, that is pack number six, and we're moving on. Now, this is one amazing pack. It has six blank and six stamped, and it has some children, and it's just gorgeous. This is pack number, uh, what did I say? It's pack number seven, lucky number seven. Does that help you out? This one's blank. Look how gorgeous is this. Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh. Lots of pretty ones with children. Reminds me of like Anna Green Gables. That's blank as well. Whoever gets this is a, a real treat. You guys got some really beautiful ones here. Look at that one. Again, blank. How often you find vintage ones blank, right? This one here has got some glitter. 
with fondest love blank gorgeous see the glitter it's this one here kind regards again blank looks like it's got a little wear on a warmest says with uh was it warmest love blank it's a nice pack again this is pack number seven I don't know if you guys can see that one. It's quite interesting. It's raised with some glitter. That. This one says, what's my time here? We're at 15 minutes. It's going to be one long video. I better get going. <laughs> here you guys go. I should just get going here. Oh my gosh. Look how they stamped it on front. In fact, loop the poppies. Say poppies. I meant, uh, oh my goodness, poppies. That would be pansies. Alright guys, that is pack number seven. Okay, pack eight. It's three blank, ten stamped. Look at the beautiful, lovely children. That one. Yeah, they just get only beautiful or there's such a thing. They get more and more beautiful. I'm sure I said that wrong in grammar as well. <laughs> it's nighttime. Coffee is totally worn and off. This one's got a little wear right there. I had fun putting them together. It's all I do know. I'm going to go a little bit faster, guys. This one here has got like a little envelope. It's like someone tried opening it once before. I wonder if you undo that, it'd be something you can open and close. It's 1910. So it's two. Two more blanks. All right, guys, that is pack number eight. And that was absolutely gorgeous one with those children. Let's go ahead and the All right, pack number nine. This one here, uh, I don't see anything about blank, but if we see them, we see them. Here's another one of those envelopes. There we go, that one opens. You can put something in there. Oh, cute. Again, guys, only $15. Cannot beat this. Sorry if they're upside down. I'm not going to really focus too much on it as much anymore. I'm going to give you a quick front and back. This is really cute. I really love this one. Hey, I could do side by side and we can knock two of them out at once, right? Oopsie daisy. There we go. There you go, guys. That is pack number nine. All right, pack number ten. Ooh, look at that red. Carnations. That's gorgeous. That one's blank. As you guys can see, I'm not going to point out the blanks. There should be two blank ones in here. I'm not going to point them out every time. Now you guys can kind of see uh, which one is blank and which one isn't blank. <laughs> I'll be flipping them over as I go along. I kind of have an idea. Absolutely gorgeous and now pretty. Here we go. I want to make sure that this isn't. We have enough time here. Gorgeous. All right, guys, that one there was pack number 10 with that beautiful child. I don't know where pack 11 went, but here is pack 12. I don't know if you can see, like, the, um, the gold in there. Let's see. Oops, I better get in. Absolutely gorgeous. I made sure, guys, I gave you a great variety in each pack. I don't know if you guys can see. This one says it's a Mother's Day postcard, and it has this remembering mother. It's got lilacs. Absolutely gorgeous. Seeds, too. Another blank one. I know I said I wasn't going to do that book in there for day greetings. It's blank as well. Beautiful pack. Gorgeous. There you go, guys. That is pack number 12. I'm sure we'll find 11 around here somewhere. If not, they're in the shop. All right, this is 13. It says we have three blank. Look at these beautiful children. You guys can see that. And four leaf clover. That. 
angel. All right, I had a system here and I just kind of swapped it, didn't I? <laughs> we'll get it. I know, I'll get back to it. Okay. Live and learn, right? Gorgeous. Ooh, model. There we go. It's like a balancing act here, guys. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Look at this guy. All right, guys, that is pack number 13. All right, guys, pack number 14. I hope you're writing this down. This book. Here's another one of those best wishes books. That one's blank, too. I know I said I wasn't going to say that. You guys can kind of get which one is. This one I said has got four blanks in it. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at those cute little peaches. Peaches. When I say peaches, oh my gosh, it is nighttime oranges. Holy moly, Selena. <laughs> peaches. Ah, beautiful red stamp. All right, guys, that there is pack number 14. Let's go ahead to 15. All right, pack 15, and this one's got three blanks in there somewhere. Oh, wow, we should see her. Isn't she pretty? She is gorgeous. Looks like this had a stamp on there, like a, like a date stamper. It's, it's like embossed. I don't know if you guys can see that. Dutch girl. Ooh, it's like a felted flower. It's another one of those best wishes. Ooh. Pretty, huh? There you go, guys. That is pack 15. We're getting close. All right, pack 16. We're getting to Easter. Look how darling is that. We got chicks, bunny, and baby bunnies. Look at this one. It's got like a kind of a corner. It's kind of got a little terrible. Oh my god, it's too cute to be upset about that. Oh my gosh. Same thing here. It's just the upper, which I think is just darling. Again, go when you go to listing, it shows you everything. You have to say, quite an adorable pack. <laughs> I had fun with these. Totally had fun. There we go. Upside down, there, Selena. Again. Cute. I think this one's an interesting one, too. There you guys go. That is pack 16. Look at that. Adorable there. All right. 17. Easter again. Gosh. Let's go see this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have to say quite a darling. Not go wrong with that, right? So cute. Oops, I don't know which way I'm going here. Again, very old, very beautiful. And they're not digitals, they're the actual thing. So I know I really think it's a great idea about the digital thing because now I understand the concept where you can reuse that same digital. 
a vintage item, you can't get another one like it, and you can't reuse if you mess up. But I, there's nothing like vintage, right? This one is 1801. Isn't that crazy? Alright guys, that is pack 17. I think we got one more. Alright, pack 18, and this is Easter as well. Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys this one. And as I do that, if you want to run on over there, again, they're going to they're gonna fly off the shelf fast. Try to mark it at a great price. And, um, so yes, it's a cute blank one. I said I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> there you go again. So how could I not, right? So this one says it has four blank ones. Starlin, that's 1915. This was so much fun. It's so interesting how yeah, it's embossed. It's coming to an end. This was a lot of work, but it was worth every bit of it, guys. All right, guys, run on over there and grab your postcards while you can. And I'm glad you guys took the time to watch this video with me. You guys have a great day. Bye.